I'm Mike Neheiser, founder of Beacon Rock Research, and with me is Greg Johnson, president and CEO of Wellgreen Platinum. That's WG on the TSXV or WGPLF in the U.S. Greg, good to see you. Good to be here, Mike. Now, Greg, I know you from Nova Gold and with South American Silver, and I know you only like big projects. So first of all, t tell me about the name change and what you've done in the company and how long you've been at Wellgreen. Yeah, so the whole team started, including myself, about a year ago, November 2012. We were quite excited about this opportunity. It's one of the rare uh, examples of an open, pitable platinum, palladium, gold uh, resource, including nickel and copper uh, credits. And this project was really waiting for a new technical team with the experience and expertise uh, to come in and develop this project, potentially as an open, pitable mine perhaps as large as the third largest producer of platinum and palladium in North America. Uh, it's early days, we're at the preliminary economic assessment stage, but we're very excited about the developments. Why don't you tell me a little bit about platinum and why that is important? Probably in the precious metal space, the platinum and palladium sector probably has some of the strongest fundamentals. And that is because platinum and palladium are primarily used in catalytic converters in cars for, for clean as, uh, air and skies, um, particularly in the growing uh, third world market in China and India where uh, pollution is such an issue. We're seeing a huge growth in automobile sales and the need to uh, bring in the kind of technology we already have in North America and Europe. So about since the 1980s, uh, there's been a year on year growth in platinum and palladium consumption that's paralleled automobile growth and that consumption has recently then seen uh, falling supply in the last uh, five to six years in both platinum and palladium with mining supply decreases out of South Africa and Russia, the two largest producers of platinum and palladium. Yeah, there's not too many projects outside of uh, South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Russia, so that must be uh, a quite an appeal. Why don't you tell me about the project specifically? Yeah, so at Wellgreen, we're looking at a system that's very similar to the type of deposits that are mined in South Africa and Russia, uh, but those deposits tend to be very deep, narrow, high-grade operations, which are very labor-intensive. Our project is more similar to a project that some of your listeners may be familiar with, like the Carlin deposits in Nevada, where we're looking at a bulk mineable, open pitable deposit. So our, our resource starts right at the surface, uh, and we are looking at low cost mining with large scale equipment. Uh, we're looking at a project that could be a very significant producer, and, and all is uh, bulk mineable, so it's mechanized and, and low cost on a unit basis. Now this is a Brownfields project, right? Historically, this project was developed by HUD Bay, discovered in the 1950s, put in production in the 1970s as a, as a high-grade underground operation. Since about 2000, it's been looked at as its open pit potential, looking at the areas adjacent to the high-grade zones that could be open pit mined right from surface. Well, you know, I saw this project twice, and i, I got to tell you, you've really been active on it in, in terms of looking at it like a big project. But one thing I know that you've t mentioned before is infrastructure. Yeah, so the, this project, even though it's in the, in the Yukon, in the north, a lot of people think, oh, that's really remote. It's right next to the Alaska Highway. We have a paved highway access to two different port facilities, the one at uh, Skagway as well as the one at Haines. So this project, though it's in the north, benefits from having great infrastructure, which is going to mean that our cost to build it, the capital cost, is going to be significantly lower than a comparable, very remote project would be. So you've got water, power, access, all those things? Yeah, if we have a high, high capacity power at Haines Junction, we're also looking at the possibility of using liquefied natural gas, which is something that the whole Yukon is, is looking at for power. Uh, we've got uh, local communities that would benefit from uh, the mine in terms of labor. And we, the project is in the Yukon where there's a lot of mining that's already going on. There's Capstone's mine in the Yukon, there's Alexco, and there's Yukon Zinc. So this is a place where mining is the business. The government is very supportive of mining. And our local First Nations group, the Kalani First Nation, are very supportive of this project uh, and are looking for the economic development opportunities that would come from it. Well, great. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Maybe catalysts for this year for investors to look out for? Yeah, over the last year, we've worked uh, to build the team. Uh, we've structurally restructured the company. We've uh, uh, placed a very large block of shares with uh, our existing shareholders. Uh, we have a new board of directors, new name since December with the Well Green Platinum uh, badge focusing on our, our core project. And we've got continued results. We had some of the best expiration results in the history of the company that were put out in November. I expect a, a series of additional releases from the drill program last uh, field season. And we're going to have uh, updated results that are coming out on metallurgy, on engineering, uh, culminating in a Q2 uh, updated resource and preliminary economic assessment. 
Any comments on offtake agreements? I know it's a polymetallic project, so is there anything uh, about talks with uh, partners or um, interest in the project, uh, either uh, in the States or in Asia? Well, because of the deep water ports that we have in Alaska that this project would ship through, uh, Asia is the natural target for the concentrates that would come off this project. So this project will produce either a nickel-copper PGM concentrate or a, a separate nickel-PGM-copper PGM, PGM uh, concentrate that would be marketed and sold. And there's a broad market for both of those two metals. Uh, so we are already in some initial discussions with uh, Asian off-takers. We've uh, been approached by a number of groups also uh, on the production side who are interested in a project like this in a safe first world jurisdiction. Uh, and I'm quite uh, confident that we'll see either through offtake arrangements or otherwise a way to finance and develop this project uh, and make this a real success story. All right. Well, Greg, thanks for taking the time to meet with me. Thanks a lot, Mike. It's good to be here. Well, once again, this is Mike Neheiser, uh, Beacon Rock Research for Mining Clips. And with me is Greg Johnson, President and CEO of Wellgreen Platinum. That's uh, WG on the TSX Venture Exchange or in the United States, WGPLF. Thanks, Greg.